Up there, far away in space, is the planet Fleed. It's a technologically advanced planet whose people have overcome the hardships of life to live in peace and harmony with nature. On this day, blessed by the stars, Fleed is to celebrate the union of its prince, Duke Fleed, with Rubina, the heiress of the mighty Vega Empire. But in reality, the Vega care little for Fleed's royal family. Led by Blackie, the most merciless of their officers, they strike, taking advantage of the wedding to plunder the planet's resources. Only one Fleedian, Duke Fleed, still stands against them. In the shadows of an ancient sanctuary, he is about to awaken the Guardian of Fleed, a machine called... Grendizer. Your Highness, what are you thinking? We've no choice. But Grendizer hasn't been buried all these years without good reason. Well, it's high time to wake it up then. The Vegas treachery cannot go unpunished. Grendizer, go! Where are you, my prince? I believe I'm in the heart of this sanctuary. Make haste, your highness. War is nearly upon us. Blast! My way is blocked by rocks. Have you forgotten Grendizer's legendary fists? Nothing can stand against them. The legend is true. How will Fleet ever recover from such destruction? Praise the stars. There you are, your highness. Just look at what the Vega have done to our planet. Come, my prince. All is not yet lost. The young man I taught would never have awakened Grendizer in vain. What do you intend to do, your highness? Bleed is counting on its guardian. We must repel the invaders and lead our people to safety. With all due respect, my prince, your family is also counting on you. Maria and your parents were waiting for you at the palace to celebrate the wedding. I can't imagine their distress. The princess is tougher than she looks, and my parents didn't raise me to be a coward. Also, everyone there can rely on our Praetorians. Our fellow citizens won't be so lucky. Your concern does you credit, Your Highness. Your parents would be proud of you. Come on, we haven't got a minute to lose. To protect Fleed, you must absorb its rays of light. They are what will restore Grendizer to its full potential. Good as new. the door that once guarded the entrance to the sanctuary. Fists won't be enough this time. The legendary double Harkin, on the other hand. It has been a long time since anybody has visited this place. Your Highness, despite all its power, Grendizer is not invincible. Avoid the blows from that machine. In that case, let's see what Vega's robots are made of. Now do you understand why the Vega are planning to steal this machine? There's the old moat. 
Use your dizer punch to grab what's left of the bridge. Close the distance with a jump, Your Highness. So here's the pack of rabid wolves attacking a peaceful planet. But who do they answer to? I cannot say exactly, my prince. I could only intercept one message from all the Vega communications, and it's confusing to say the least. To all units, this is Colonel Blackie. His Excellency King Vega orders us to destroy this planet. We must make them see that our people are the strongest, that the armies of Vega are invincible. Fleed must submit immediately. But the sycophants of the Royal Guard are not worthy of this honor, let alone a bureaucrat like the Superintendent. I'm counting on all of you. Show them what we can do. This world is ours. No, this world is yours by right. Eliminate all resistance. If the Vega expect resistance, let's not disappoint them, teacher. I'm with you, your highness, but please be careful. Pointed right at the palace. I cannot allow it to fire. That thing is protected by a force field, Your Highness. You will have to use your anti gravity storm to break it. My prince. By the stars, how many war machines have the Vega forged? This one seems designed to take a beating, Your Highness. Use your anti gravity storm. Anti gravity storm! Anti gravity storm! Anti gravity storm! Well done, Your Highness. One less thing for Flea to worry about. My Prince, the Baron of Flea's estate is in danger. We'll need those rockets for the evacuation. We must defend them. Rid of those evil machines, Your Highness. Anti gravity store! Beware, my prince. Here they come. Dizer punch! Oh no! My instruments are flooded with Vega transmissions. Cease your searching at once! Some kind soul has led Drendizer straight to us. Redeploy our troops and seize that machine! They're attacking from the air, Your Highness. Use your shoulder boomerangs. Coming. It's like they had it all planned. Anti gravity storm! Shoulder boomerang! They're coming back, Your Highness. Prince, 
Tell those rockets to take off. Noble Baron, are you there? Duke? Duke? Is that you? Naida? Tell me you're not hurt! I'm okay, Duke. Thanks to you and the Guardian. But I fear the worst. Only the blackest day indeed would force us to rouse the great Grendizer from its slumber. You can see for yourself that the day is here. This marriage was only a farce, a subterfuge. The Vega aren't interested in peace. They only have eyes for their precious resources. They are traitors and cowards. All of them. Don't talk nonsense, Duke. Search your heart. Rubina loves her people as much as we love Fleet. She knew nothing of this ruse, or she would never have let her father do such a thing. I should never have trusted them. I should have gone with you. There's still time, Duke. I've rounded up everyone I could save. My father is with me and Sirius. Together, we'll keep Fleet alive beyond the stars. I cannot bring myself to abandon this planet. And my family is still in the palace. You will have to guide your parents, your brother, and our people. All on your own, Aida. You can count on me, Your Highness. Prepare for takeoff. Duke, I. Farewell, my prince. Farewell, Naida. Take good care of them. Take care of what's left of Fleet. Rubina, your highness. The message is from that Vega embassy. Another ruse, no doubt. Let's take a closer look. Look even tougher to me. I'll have to use Grendizer's full power. Blackie to all units. Fleet is finally ready. The Megatron levels are through the roof. It's time to reveal the true nature of our facility. Start collecting. So this is the reason for their attack. To turn Fleet into a giant Megatron bomb over my dead body. Secrets for you. But the Vega are still hiding a few. Teacher, try to tune me into the frequency of this base, will you? 
Are you there, Rabina? Or is this another one of your miserable Vega tricks? Duke, my prince, it's really me. Please believe me. I have to speak to you. What could you possibly say that would torment me any further? Villains, you betrayed us. Soon, there'll be nothing left of my planet but crumbling ruins. How could you stand by and let this happen? Ruins? I knew nothing of this. I swear it by the stars. Duke, my own father is keeping me on board his ship against my will. You must believe me, please. I know not what other follies he and his generals are capable of. You must flee, my prince. I won't let you fall with plead. Escape, and I'll find you. Rubina, I offered you my heart, but you stabbed me in the back. I trusted you. I won't make that mistake a second time. Duke, wait! We've done all we can, teacher. Now, we'd better return to the palace. Go ahead, your highness. I'll find the spacer. If we are to escape through space, Grandizer will need its transport saucer. It was hidden not far from here. Thank you for being so thoughtful, teacher. But I won't abandon my planet. Let's meet at the Royal Tower. I hope our Praetorians have led my family to safety. Maria must be scared to death. I hope she's okay. Or the Vega will pay for it a hundredfold. Curse you! What do you hope to gain from death and desolation? find my family! Please! Relaunching the Spazer has proven to be more difficult than expected, my prince. I still have some fine tuning to do. Persevere, and I'll get the saucer to you as soon as possible. How dare you set foot in this palace again! Your machines won't save you. Anti-gravity storm! Anti-gravity storm!
The Royal Tower. My family might have found refuge there. Murderer! Monster! Savage! You'll be sorry! Diver Punch! Diver Punch! Shoulder Boomerang! Prince Duke, if you can hear me, then know this. Your impudence ends here. You will die along with your planet. Then we'll tear Grendizer from your corpse's stiff hands. Not even your precious machine can withstand the full fury of a saucer beast. Say your prayers, sweet prince. to find you. It's too late, teacher. Much too late. Your Highness, Grendizer cannot fall into their hands. You must survive. Use the sorcerer to beg of you. Spazer go. Spazer cross. Shoot out. I didn't have a choice. If anything happened to me, who would stop them from rebuilding Grendizer? From using it to swallow up other worlds? It's too late for Fleet. But I won't let any other planet suffer the same fate. I must escape as far away as possible. And the saucer will help me. These asteroids are my cover. But I'll have to learn to dodge them. Who knows what awaits me in space? The Vega are after me. Speed and agility won't be enough. I'll need weapons. Let's test their effectiveness on these asteroids. Spin drill! Get away. Grendizer must not fall into their hands. Did you think you could outrun me, Prince Duke? Deploy all our squadrons. Don't let Grendizer get away, or I'll have your head. There are just too many of them. I need more power. Let's try this. Doctor! Spin drill! Leave me be. I have to get rid of it. Spin drill. Those 
ships. Those meteors. Are any of our rockets able to escape them? Men drill! Maria, my dear parents, have mercy on your son. Condemned to flee his native land. Spendrill! What if the blazes? A new ship! The Royal Guard is on our tail! Move it, you incompetent fools! We're the ones who get to take down Grandiza, us, and no one else! There's more and more all the time! Big trouble calls for big solutions. Tower! You can hear me, dear stars. Watch over my family's souls. I beg of you. Let's hide among those asteroids. Now or never. Goodbye, my beloved planet. Grendizer, power up! Two years later. I'm nearing Mount Fuji. Professor Genzo's facility must be nearby. His space science laboratory has reportedly seen UFOs in the area. So let's be on our guard. If a fight breaks out, I'll have nothing to defend myself with. No more giant robots. I have to get used to the terrestrial flying object. The first flying saucer ever built by humans. A wonderful machine, but a machine without weapons. Hey, it's a UFO. So aliens are indeed on Earth. Let's try to find out what they want. UFO, if you can hear me, please tell me what planet you're from. Oh, there's more of them. This is Professor Genzo Uma from the Space Science Laboratory. Please respond to my request for identification, Koji. This is Koji aboard the prototype TFO-1. Bad timing, Professor. I'm a little busy. The radar scope is picking up several points 30 kilometers southwest of our position. Do you have a visual? I'll give it to you straight, Professor. They're UFOs, and it looks like they're coming right at me. I've got to get out of the way of those things. They're opening fire. Why are they attacking me? I'm not even armed. Father, those things are dangerous. Get him out of there immediately. Father? What on earth is going on here? These UFOs are making my son nervous. 
We've good reason to believe that those saucers are from... Don't have time for your family problems, Professor. I'm not even sure I can get out of this mess. NASA approved the TFO with a mechanormizer, didn't they? The experimental repair module? Yes, if the opportunity arises, I'll try to stay on a precise trajectory. That should buy me some time. UFO, if you're reading me, hold your fire. I'm not your enemy. Our radars are saturated with signals, Koji. We can't triangulate your position. I'm flying over a large river. Follow it and get closer to the laboratory. Then we can guide you out of range of enemy fire. Control. Koji! Koji, answer me! Koji! Meanwhile, at the Space Science Laboratory. Oh no, we lost the signal. Anti-gravity storm! Soldier boomerang! General Gundal, order you to protect this forge. Carry out my orders immediately. A forge? So the Vega have moved their infernal factories here. I won't allow these brutes to produce reinforcements on Earth. I'll destroy the central generator. That should start a chain reaction. Good idea, Daisuke. But watch out for that excess energy. Anti-gravity storm!
Gandal. Order you to protect this forge. Carry out my orders immediately. A forge? So the Vega have moved their infernal factories here. I won't allow these brutes to produce reinforcements on Earth. I'll destroy the central generator. That should start a chain reaction. Good idea, Daisuke. But watch out for that excess energy. Shoulder boomerang! That's done and dusted. What do you think, Father? Congratulations, Daisuke. But let's stay vigilant. If the Vega invade another region, we'll have to explore it to see if they've built any similar structure. You can count on me. I won't allow this General Gandal to lay waste to the Earth with his facilities. Curses. That Koji is nowhere to be found. Keep your cool, Daisuke. We have one more trick up our sleeves. Major Ota was talking about a signal the radio tower in this area might have intercepted it, too. Unfortunately, it is not responding. I'll head over there. The tower may be able to help us triangulate the position of the terrestrial flying object. It's under attack! Anti-gravity storm! Good luck, Daisuke. Don't forget. Look out! The invaders are coming back. Boomerang! Don't worry, I'm not with them. But I need your help. You do? But I'm just a humble tower operator. Exactly. And did you receive a distress signal from a man named Koji, on board the terrestrial flying object? Yes, I did. It was coming from the big city over there, but we lost it almost immediately. I'll go check it out. Thanks. Wait a minute. Our network of radio towers covers the entire archipelago. If you ever need to move around, we can help guide you. How about it? Together, we're stronger. I'm in. Vega? Let's take a closer look.
coming back. Gravity storm! Hello, young lady. Is everything okay? I knew you weren't like that big monster from earlier. What monster are you talking about? The one that fled into the mountains. It had a big yellow disc in its mouth. My dog thought it was a frisbee. <laughs> How could I not have thought of that earlier? Father, it was the saucer beast that grabbed the TFO. It must have taken it into their underground tunnels. Oh Let's hope Koji is safe. I'm looking after this little girl. Help is on the way. Thank you for your help, young lady. The firefighters are on their way. Stay here out of the way, okay? Okay. You're going to chase the monster away, right? I'll take care of it, don't worry. It won't be coming back anymore. This time, let's find Koji for good. Let's go, Daisuke. That saucer beast is close by. Still no sign of the TFO. I really hope that thing is solved. It's a state-of-the-art device, designed by Koji himself, based on NASA's UFO research. Uh-huh. Technology is one thing, but it doesn't replace pilots. Do you really think Koji managed to survive? Believe it or not, Koji knows about giant robots, too. If anyone could have survived such an attack, it was him. Why are the Vega on Earth? Why now? Could Koji have attracted them? As advanced as it is, I doubt a saucer like this would have been enough to break... We're getting closer. That monster can't be far away. Those footprints don't look good. Father, I found the TFO, but the ship looks wrecked. Quick, check if Koji is alright.
tell me you're in that thing. Don't worry, Koji. I prefer the company of scientists to that of giant robots. Hand me! Double heart hit. Koji, let's not wait for them to come back. Can you take off at all? Well, I'll try to. Okay, fine. Get what you can of the Saucer Beast technology, and meet us at the laboratory as soon as possible. Geyser jump! Spazer go! Phaser cross. Shoot out. We always see the same side of the moon from the Earth. We cannot monitor what is happening on the other side. Vegas troops have set up camp on the dark side of the moon, intent on conquering the rest of the galaxies. Greetings to you, Gandol. I've just arrived. How dare you appear before me again? I beg your pardon, General. I didn't know that demon was on Earth. You fool! How did Prince Duke manage to defeat you when you command the armies of Vega? But you know he has Grendizer. That's what bothers me. As long as he has it, we can't rest. We must attack the Earth and destroy Grendizer. You're in charge, General. What is your decision? I refuse to fail the same as you, Blackie. If only he didn't have Grendizer. Gandala, why are you so quick to give up? You must get your revenge. You know you mustn't remain defeated, or you'll be demoted. Like our dear Blackie. I forbid you! Enough of this! Leave me in peace! I need to think of a plan to take over the Earth. Ah, Daisuke. 
Blackie is transmitting this radio message on all terrain. Earthlings, it seems that your planet has more than just resources, because it is hosting a murder. The Prince of Fleed and his war machine, Grendizer. I order you to turn over this individual and his diabolical machine immediately, or we shall strike down your cities. We will begin with the cities of Japan, where Duke Fleed has been spotted. Fleed has hidden himself among you. He may look like you, but make no mistake. He is not one of you. If you are the ones hiding him, the fate of Japan and the whole world rests in your hands. As for you, Prince Duke, surrender immediately or you will see another world burn down around you. My goodness, that Vega officer has a lot of nerve. But would you rather I call you Duke? That is your Fleetian name, after all. Not everyone has made the connection yet between Grindizer, Duke Fleet, and Daisuke. Let's try to keep it a secret for now, shall we? You're right. Let's be careful, Duke. I mean, Daisuke. Speaking of which, you should go see Aoi to confirm that the Vega are indeed retreating. You did well. By the way, congratulations on your exploits at Mount Fuji, Daisuke. Looks like the radar went silent. Finally, some good news. Go see Yamato. Your trip to Mount Fuji was very inspiring, Daisuke. And the pieces of this saucer beast did the rest. Here's what I... It's done. You might want to tell your father about these modifications. There you are, my son. It's good to see you. How is Koji? Better, I think. He's sleeping now. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, he's asleep. Do you know that Blackie has made contact again? Unfortunately, yes. Akira played me his message. That monster doesn't waste any time. Everything I feared is coming true. The war didn't stop with Fleet. It's already here. Fleet? The war? 
What's all this about? So you pilot this robot, don't you? Grendizer. That machine is called Grendizer. Father. How long did you think you could hide the truth from him, Daisuke? Professor, explain yourself. Two years ago, I took in Daisuke, Duke Fleed by name. That was my first contact with extraterrestrial life. It could have been the best day of my life. But when Duke explained to me what Fleed was, what had become of it, I preferred to keep his existence a secret. And you consider him your own son? I adopted him. Duke was able to escape because of Grandizer. His parents and his family were not so lucky. It was my duty to offer him a new life here on Earth, as it is my duty to protect this planet. It's our duty, Father. We'll protect the Earth together. There's no time to lose. I must thwart Blackie's plans. Wait. I'm coming with you. I don't need help from a kid. A kid? Come out and fight. You'll soon see I'm not a kid anymore. Silence, boys. Koji, you seem to be doing better. But if we want you to stay in one piece, we'll have to arm the TFO and do it together. As for you, Daisuke, you have a secret identity to protect. Go back to the ranch and put on a brave face for Dambe. We'll meet again tomorrow. All right. I'll go back to the Makiba family ranch. And I hope you get better soon, Koji. I'll be all right. I don't plan on letting you go alone.